if people don't, if you, if you don't have people around that don't push you to greatness, mm -hmm. then you need to check your circle. You know, I think that's honesty. Um, mm -hmm. You know, before we start, I was just, you know, was just telling you, you know, I told you, you know, the time I heard, you know, Jamel was playing the drums and stuff. Yeah. Like I used to push Jamel, well, do this, do that. You know, we pushed each other. You know, we were able to to shoot a commercial, uh, but it comes from pushing each other. You know, and even even with that, when it came time to shoot a commercial, I didn't just eat off the commercial. I got males, I got I got renegade involved, mm -hmm. so that we could all be successful. But that's how you have to be when you when you know, and, and those are the people you want around you. You know, gatekeepers don't want you to move. You know, that's why, I, that's why, and, and I salute Pat for that, I don't mean to cut you off, my mm. bad, but I salute Pat for that, because, like, my first meeting to Mac Dogs, it was a Pat Riley interview that he called me up, wow. and he said, like, oh, you still doing your show? Yeah, 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 man, I'm gonna come through, he was, like, one of my first guests, um, and I mean, that it was a fucking five-hour show, but it was, <laughs> we were oh, yeah, partying. You had me, you had Pat, you had Tokyo, and you had the mm. other kid, uh, 